Becoming a physician is a long and noble journey, and the very first step is applying to medical school. The specifics of that process are different around the world, so we'll go through the specifics of applying in the U.S. medical system. But some features of a strong candidate are universal, a person that's scientifically curious, hardworking, and compassionate. One way to think about any career is to think about the intersection of four goals. What do you love? What are you good at? What can you be paid for? And what does the world need? Most would agree that becoming a physician offers a reasonable salary and is also what the world needs. But it might not be what a person loves or is good at. Figuring that out is what a potential medical school applicant should do before they apply to medical school. It's also what med schools are trying to do when they evaluate their applicants. To figure out if medicine's right for you, you have to get to know yourself, and you have to get to know medicine. Medicine offers a whole bunch of career options that are growing every day, so that by the time a current applicant's ready to start working, there'll be new opportunities that don't even currently exist. In order to get to know yourself, the first key is to find great advisors and mentors, starting with a pre-health advisor, which you can find at a lot of schools. In addition, find a great teacher, family friend, or clinician who can help serve as a mentor. Someone who has time to get to know you and is able and willing to help you grow your mind as well as your character. It's best to have a few of these folks in your life because they can help you develop in different and often complementary ways. Next, it's good to get involved in a variety of projects, to explore your interests and expose yourself to the wide range of opportunities that are available. Students often get involved in lab-based and clinical research studies, as well as volunteer experiences working with patients, and also leadership and advocacy roles in student-run organizations. In addition to going broad, though, it's also important to go deep. An example of going broad would just be putting together a presentation. Going deeper than that would mean you try to get it published, or put together a video blog, or edit the Wikipedia page on that topic. As another example, going broad would just be attending meetings, but going deep would be organizing a project from end to end, like a local bone marrow drive. In other words, live the creed. Think globally, act locally. Now, it's also important to get to know a medical school, because just like the applicants, each one's different. Start by going to career fairs and getting to know the ones in your area. Maybe even making a campus visit and meeting the folks in the admissions office. Some schools have top researchers in the classroom, while others mainly bring in community physicians. Some curriculums teach normal physiology in year one and pathophysiology in year two, whereas others teach everything together in blocks. Some schools also offer joint degree programs with a huge range of options. MD or DO with PhD, MPH, MBA, JD, MS, MPP, MDIV, MED, and even an MA. It's worth learning about them to figure out which ones might be a good fit. Most of all, though, it's helpful to get to know the people, the students, the faculty, and the leadership, to really get a good feel for a school. Send out emails and set up appointments to meet up with people or hop on calls. Find out what people like most, as well as what they'd like to change. Also, ask about interesting projects and new initiatives at the school. This all takes time, but it's worth the effort. If going to med school is like finding a partner, the advice here is to start dating early, and to get to know the various schools as well as the communities that house them. Finally, it's important to explore related career paths, like nursing and physician assistant programs. After you've decided that you want to apply to med school, and you've finished up your prereq courses, then there are the actual elements of the application to go through, starting with a personal statement. For that, remember that people relate to each other through stories. So this is your chance to tell an interesting and authentic story so the admissions committee can get to know the real you. And don't forget to get feedback from friends and family. It'll definitely help. Another step is preparing your letters of recommendation. For this, give your mentors plenty of time and offer to meet up with them to explain to them in your own words why you'd like to apply to medical school. This is an awesome opportunity to strengthen that relationship. And then there's a the whole messy business of grades and MCAT scores. 
both of which cause an incredible amount of stress for med school applicants. Do your best with both of these, because this is what lots of schools look at to see if you're likely to do well in med school from an academic standpoint. Pretty much everyone agrees that these aren't perfect measures of success, and often have little or nothing to do with how you'll perform as a physician. But in the absence of other benchmarks, grades and MCAT scores continue to dominate admissions conversations at a lot of schools. Finally, if you're invited to interview at a school, it's well worth doing mock interviews and learning the specifics of financial aid packages and scholarships so that you're well prepared to ask and answer important questions. All right, as a quick recap, becoming a physician takes a lot of time, money, and effort, so it's worth making sure that it's a good option for you. For most people, that means making sure that you love the work and that you're good at it, both of which can be best answered through real-world experiences. Find mentors who can help guide you in that journey of self-exploration. If you do decide to apply, make sure that you work equally hard to get to know the various types of med schools that are out there so that you find the best match for you. Thanks for watching. You can help support us by donating on Patreon, subscribing to our channel, or telling your friends about us on social media.